Hugs him off to you, to my microphone today, and teach you how to add a furnace to the game, a custom furnace. So it can be whatever you want. Okay, so um, basically, I've got all of these, and basically, for a furnace in the mod blocks, I you have to have a lit and an unlit one, and I've just done all the stuff for that. But we actually want to have a private final boolean and that's called is burning and then we've got a add this to a constructor so it's the boolean is burning here so basically this dot is burning is equal to is burning and there we go so that's going to make us want to put stuff here so the default one is going to be false and then the other one is going to be true. Now, this tutorial is going to be a lot of copy and pasting. Because, basically, I'm just going to be explaining stuff a lot. And, basically, for the f fir first method that we're going to add in here, we want to get get item dropped. Which basically just changes what item gets dropped. And it's really simple. It's dot get item dot get item from block mod blocks dot and it's going to be the just default furnace our copper furnace and now you want to get set default f facing this method here now a lot of these methods have come straight out of the um, um, actual furnace code so if you don't know how to do that, just uh, open up Forge Source in your reference libraries, net Minecraft block, and just find the blocks that you want to look into. That's how I make some tutorials, but majority I use the internet or use my own knowledge. Um, and then you want to add an on block added method, on block added, which quite simple method. So in here we just need to do really simple this dot set default facing takes in world pass and state which it's already provided so we need a random display tick method now this this is what displays the particle effects onto the furnace so here we go control shift o on all of these and it's client side only and it has to have a suppressed warnings not quite sure why but you know, no, I'll copy this out. And this just says the position that is going to be doing it. And then it's just a random position here. And then it's just a smoke. So this, if you want to know how to spawn particles, here it is. Um, I'm going to do a tutorial on this. But that that's just if you want to do it before I get a chance to. And we actually want to add another method called set state. Um, control shift O finish and uh, keep inventory I'm not using keep inventory but um, I've already replaced these with my copper so if it's if this boolean of active is true then it's the licked one and if it's false it's just a normal one and then now we actually want to create the tile entity so um, create tile entity and I'm just going to return a new tile entity copper furnace and just in brackets now we haven't actually made that so that's what we're going to be doing now it's add new class and sorry that's the paper that I'm reading from tile entity copper furnace and I have in fact pre-done all of this, so just want to control A, this, and you just want to make sure it implements um, I inventory and I tickable and net.minecraft util version and control V. And a lot of this is going to be like, what the heck is wrong with this? Control Shift O, and that one, that one, that one, that one, and 
this stuff here uh this this looks like some four stuff so I don't think we need that so I'm actually just gonna remove that one a moment Okay, so it's got some errors. So this dot world objective, well, world obj, it might just be world up. Oh, I am so stupid, so stupid. It's a tile entity, but it doesn't actually extend a tile entity. So stupid I am at times. And there you go. And that wants to add some unimplemented methods. Is that is that just one method at the bottom? Yeah, and it's, I didn't actually have this, so get display name. So return this dot get um, display name. Apparently that works. And then um, we should just import this, and like so. So then, let, let, I'm going to explain this. So, these just specify the slots, I think the ID is, not sure. Um, they have commented this, which is nice of them. This this is their inventory. Uh, this is how many ticks that first will keep burning. And, yeah, so current bear time, cook time, total cook time, and a custom name. So, get the size inventory, we have to have. Get stuck in slot. We have to have decrease stack and slot. We have to have remove stack from slot. So th these are just basic inventory stuff. And here, here's the furnace custom name, and it's going to be container. Dot. You, you like this, yeah? Copper underscore furnace. Just going to be copper furnace. And yeah, set inventory, custom inventory name. Uh, that's just setting stuff. These these are just basic stuff that we've already covered. Um, now it this is just returns if it's burning, and it's the client side as well. And uh, here's an update method. So th this is what updates every tick. So um, it just has two flags, and it tests if it's burning, and it takes one from the burn time. And if the world is not remote, it tests if it's burning, or that the item stack with the ID of, not the ID, the first, not the first, but second item stack in there, and the other ones is not nothing, and it tests whether it can smelt, which I think that's a method later on, and then it gets the current bear time, and it minus, and it's equal to uh, this dot furnace bear time, minus get bear item burn time which is in fact how you make fuel I think I believe and they've added something for Minecraft Forge and this this just sets it to like burn get cooked out time so I, I've added this change this to make it faster or slower let's make it twice as fast why not and uh, this is this is smelt item so it checks whether it can smelt so it's test that it's not if it's not nothing and it's furnace recipes dot get smelting result that's the item stack that is going to be outputted and basically it's a bug fix here that forward has done make it respect stack sizes properly that's good 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 and basically that that's just smelting it gets this that that's just a result so so, um, we need to make it. You you want to see like custom fuel stuff. So that's in get item burn time, and you you can actually do this. And I didn't know you could do this. And I'm going to be doing a tutorial on custom fuels. And this this is how you do a custom fuel. This is just all the burn times. Um, yeah, and it tests whether it is. An item fuel, just a default, is usable by player. Is item valid for slot? 
you know, just checks there. Um, that that's just special slot slots for face. Um, I think that's for the hopper. Can insert item. Can extract item. And create content. So that's gonna have the container. Get field just return these. And set field. Get the field count. Clear it. And that's the display name. So now we want to add an on block activated method. So this method here. Method method. So that's when you right click on it, and I forgot to do um, on block activated. So if the block when 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 the block is activated, it will just run this, and you want to change this to copper furnace here, so it knows that it's a copper furnace, and control shift O. So this just gives you um, an achievement, which here here's some achievements. Slash statistics. There you go. Shame they can't name them. Yeah, you don't really need to look at that. And that that will open up the GUI. It's a bit different to how we do it, but th this is the Minecraft code, and Minecraft code cannot go wrong, probably. And you want to just add this break block and destroy block from the previous tutorials, and it's copper crap copper. Furnace. That's that's the tile entity. So let's just paste this here. Control Shift O, and then um, it ha uh, changed to that. Yeah. Set custom inventory name. Sorry, uh, that's just the way they work. And yeah. So in the mod blocks, you should have this. Just register it. Now I haven't actually made the textures or anything so I'm gonna do that now okay so I have in fact textured all of the stuff and let's just run the game and fingers crossed everything will work now I guess okay so the game is loaded up so let's just go into our test world and test whether this works so I've never done a couple of like a furnace at all so let's go to creative. Let's go check in this and should see copper furnace looking as sexy as ever. And when you right click it, it doesn't open it, which is a well, that's great start. Okay, to fix this, um, you just want to go into block furnace, find this break block method and paste it there and get rid of this if statement so um, let's in fact go to our GY handler and let's make a GY so public static final int and it's going to be Copper underscore furnace. Now that's equal to one. And then we're going to check if the ID is equal to copper furnace. And it's going to return a new uh, container furnace. Player dot inventory. And the furnace inventory is going to be tile entity cup furnace and it's going to be what get tar entity at the new block parse xyz and I hate the way I did that and then same here so might as well copy and paste this okay might as well copy and paste this really and um copper furnace and it's going to be a new GUI furnace furnace import that and there we go so let's go let's go into our mini chest block block mini chest that's it 
And let's just copy the unblock activated method from here. Which is here. Re really quite basic stuff, to be fair honest. It's weird how things don't work. Uh, container. No, copper furnace, that's it. Okay, so let's run the game and hopefully everything will work. So let's just wait for the game to load up. I think I might know why. At times I can be an absolute idiot. Oh, create new tile entity. At times I can be an absolute idiot. <laughs> And then we go show, if we run our game, we should see that everything works. So let's just wait for the game to load up. I want the get render type. Oh, I was an idiot. This needs to be a free. And of course it's this. get display name okay so let's just copy this I am smart and it's just gonna return this dot has custom name like so and if we run a game everything should work and as an idiot that I am I forgot to do that Really, really smart I am. Let's just find block furnace. If I find this. Good. So let's just wait for the game to load up. Really basic mistake. Again, I forgot to put copper furnace. Again. So let's just run the game and wait for the game to load up. Okay, so the game is loaded up. So I'm going to put coal in here and break it. And did I get the coal? Yes, I did. So, um, thank you guys for watching. Don't forget to like, comment and subscribe. And love to see you in the next tutorial. I am out. Don't forget to watch any of my previous videos or last tutorial. So yeah, go check them out.